Hello everybody, welcome back. Carl again. Today I want to talk about something new called the Tentacle Mini. And uh, if you remember a while back I did a review on this. This is the Tentacle Shield. And it has the ability to have four galvanically isolated inputs for the aquarium controller. pH. This is a pH. I actually just pulled this off of my aquarium computer so I could show you the size. Uh, this is pH. I actually have a temperature one here. They have dissolved oxygen, uh, electrical conductivity, which is like your salinity, etc. So when I originally got this and I did the video, which I'll post a link down below, uh, the, the gentleman who sent me this uh, named Patrick you know, said he learned a lot from my video. And I talked about this is just, in my opinion, too big. I love the functionality of this. However, it's just a little long, as you can see. So, he developed a tentacle mini. So let's open this up here. Now in the package you'll get uh, a bunch of standoffs just like the other one. You get a bunch of specifically sized standoffs here and then the uh, hardware to mount for the BNCs. Now this is the kit format. Uh, the, kit, the kit format currently is $60 for this one and 97 for the big one. Now what that just means, you have to solder these jacks in. Not a big deal, they come with the jacks, you just have to solder them in. Now what I like about this is the size. This is the kind of a standard Arduino shield size. So I, I have here an Arduino Mega. Uh, this is the 2560. And then this is the Arduino Uno, and I have it just mounted on a piece of plastic with a, a breadboard. So for size comparison, as you'll see, it fits right over top of the Arduino Uno. Now, I like that it's the perfect size for most aquariums. So most aquariums are either going to have uh, pH and then EC or temperature. And remember, EC is the electric con conductivity, which is basically also your salinity. Now, if you feel like you're going to have more than that, then buy this one. And, you know, in my mind, in kind of the perfect scenario, you would have pH, uh, EC, and then maybe two temperature probes, one for the aquarium, one for the sump. You could also do pH, EC, ORP, and then temperature, but that's kind of up to you. Now, let's talk about the differences. Now, with the Mini, this only runs in I2C mode. Now, remember, you have to buy the pH stamps, and this only runs in I2C mode, which means that... This one actually runs in I squared C or serial. So that's one benefit to the full size version. Now, as you can see though, this is how it actually would mount on the, uh, this is actually how it mounts on the Uno. And you can see it's quite a bit larger. Now, it really depends on your size requirement. Now, this has come down in price. I think originally when I did the video, I want to say it was like $120, and now it's less than $100. So, uh, you know, it's kind of a tough sale now. Uh, in my mind, if you're going to spend the 60 when I say this was $60 for the small, maybe just spend 100 and get the large, and then you have two additional channels. Although, if you're looking for the specific form factor of this size, this is how it would mount, then, uh, you know, that's kind of a, that's a tough decision. Now, what I like about it is, you can run pH, your temperature probe, and it's only using the two I2, I2C pins. So, that's kind of convenient. Uh, nevertheless, I'll just mount it here on the... Arduino Mega so you can see what it looks like in case you're interested in that and uh, there you can see it on the Mega uh, the, the downfall to that is you're really gonna have a tough time getting access of these pins unless you make this the very top shield so nevertheless this is a video about the tentacle mini I'm very excited about this I love the size of it I think the price is right on the money at $60 uh, unfortunately I don't remember. Let me just pause for a second and see what the price of these pH stamps are. Hold on one sec. Okay, so I was just looking. The pH stamp is $36, and the temperature stamp here is $28. And then I also bought a 
temperature probe and they're saying this is water resistant which is kind of cool BNC connector to temperature probe so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this tentacle mini soldered up and I'm actually gonna do the uh, temperature with the temperature probe set up so you guys can see how it works so we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes I think what I'm gonna do for my setup is actually take this one off put the pH and temperature on this board and actually run this in my current setup uh, the other thing I really thought about doing was leaving this on my setup and then using this as like my mixing container because I could put pH and temperature and that way when I mix my salt water up and actually use it for a water change, it's the perfect pH and temperature that it's going into the aquarium. So uh, nevertheless guys, I'll post all the links down below. Check out White Box Labs, excellent product, really, really am digging their stuff. And uh, thanks for taking the time to watch. Stay tuned for the uh, video of uh, setup in this and then also the temperature probe and temperature circuit. Thanks for watching, guys.